journalistic coverage of the Mexican Mafia? Uh, that's a good question. I was, uh, I was surprised that there was so little of it at the time when I started researching the book. Maybe a lot of it has to do with the fact that uh, all the tracks that have been written about street gangs uh, by sociologists and, and so on, guys like uh, James Diego Vigil and Joe Moore and so on, uh, they talk about street gangs, but they talk about them in a vacuum. And not, none of them ever mention the Mexican Mafia as, as a significant controlling interest or controlling uh, force on mm -hmm. street gangs. Um, it's, it, it was a wonder to me. and. Uh, that's why I felt it was, a, it was a, an area for, for investigation because it, none of it had ever been mentioned. It's, it's a good question. I don't know why. How do they clean their money? How do they clean it? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> where, where do they invest in the real, like in nightclubs? Do they buy nightclubs or what do they, they do? They uh, to launder. And interestingly enough, the, uh, they, some of the money is laundered through the California Department of Corrections, the prison system. Mm -hmm. Uh, inmates are allowed to have a, a bank account and uh, virtually anybody could write a check to an inmate and have that money uh, put into their prison account hmm. and once that money is in the prison account it essentially becomes clean money right so uh, the California Department of Corrections is un is put unwittingly as the de facto banker for the Mexican mafia great yeah. What about nightclubs? Do they buy a lot of nightclubs? Or they, cash, they, you know, cash businesses like they Hollywood? Do, do they invest they, in Hollywood? Some of them do. Some of them are starting to, to invest in legitimate businesses. Mm -hmm. There was one guy they arrested not too long ago. Apparently he owned a juice bar and he owned a car wash and an apartment building. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think his wife was caught with something like $400,000 in cash and 22 pounds of cocaine. Interestingly enough, he was running his drug enterprise from behind prison walls. Mm. And the interesting thing is, if we got, if you got rid of the Mexican mafia tomorrow, like something else is going to rise to take its place. I mean, really, right? Uh, criminals always will always exploit society to, to, to achieve their ends. Yeah. And at least they're not robbing out innocent people. Uh, Correct. Yeah. You know, they're, they're not. They're not terrorizing innocent people right. in Brentwood or right. the West Side or anything like that. They're pretty much keep it to to the gang world. Right. Okay. Great.